Hi, my name is Amandine Scherer. I am part of the uh, community team, and I am here with Meda Yeginoulou from Bilgi University in Istanbul. Uh, she's going to share with us her comments on the symposium and how did she find everything. So we are listening to you, Meda. Well, things were very impressive. Good discussion we had. Wonderful papers were presented. Uh, I participated two years ago in its first advisory board meeting, and it was its inception uh, stage. And since then, so much has happened. So many things have been produced. So many different paths it has taken. So it was lovely to see that. And I uh, was happy to learn from um, the papers that were presented here. I had my questions as well, obviously. In, in, in like in any context, you would have these questions. And uh, I was a bit troubled with the term the orientalizing. Why do we need to use this term instead of other terms? Because in my understanding, orientalism is a very specific uh, project that say it has started and it has specific historical references and are we lo not losing it by doing this, uh, by using the concept now in a very wide sense? Are we not losing its specificity? Was one of the concerns I had. The other question I had was that I thought that we didn't take issues of secularism and Islam, which is shaking now, mostly Europe and the whole world as well. So I think we needed to pay a little bit more attention to, to that question. And the third item that I thought was a bit paid less attention compared to other issues was the subaltern context. Though there were papers, I must admit, that were addressing the non-Western context and issues and claims of citizenship in those contexts. So they were good, but th that was not the predominant, I should say, frame. So those are the three issues that I would have liked to see more in this uh, two-day um, conference. But other than that, they were really interesting, inspiring lectures and presentations. Thank you very much, Meda. Thank, Thank you. you.